Mr. President, it is an honor to welcome you here to the military base of Soesterberg. This is one of the locations where the Netherlands prepare military goods and weapon systems for Ukraine. Thank you, General. Your visit to this specific location on this specific day means a lot to us. Today, as we do every day, every year on the 4th of May, we remember and honor our victims of war. And the past and the present therefore merge here today. And that is, unfortunately, the bitter reality. Your fight is our fight. We feel it is our duty to support you. And every day, we feel humble because we see the sacrifices of your people. And I extend a very special welcome to the wounded Ukrainians that are present here today. We admire your fighting spirit. We admire your resolve. Many of those present here today have worked tirelessly and with incredible de uh, dedication. They have been helping by training your soldiers on the equipment on display here today, on providing medical care, on translating and documenting the atrocities that are taking place in your country for the ICC. And with regard to that last point, I can inform you that the Netherlands is supplying the ICC with a mobile laboratory for forensic research in Ukraine, so crucial for bringing those responsible to justice. Allow me also to express a word of gratitude to those working in other support roles, preparing goods for transport, making sure that all is in good order and that the deliveries are well coordinated with our partners. This is their way on, for, of contributing to the fight for what is right. We all know that training and equipment can make the difference between life and death. The dedication of your soldiers is truly inspirational. Their fight for a free Ukraine, a Ukraine that they can pass on to their children. And the stakes are high for Ukraine, but also for us here in the Netherlands and for anyone who appreciates the value of democracy, international law and territorial integrity. Mr. President, times such as these call for courageous leaders. And I commend your leadership, your courage and your inspiration. And as I've said before, the Netherlands is determined to continue to support Ukraine and the Ukrainian people in their endeavor to withstand Russian aggression. We will continue to contribute substantially to enhancing Ukraine's military potential now and in the future for as long as it takes. And now I hand over to you, Mr. President. Thank you very much for your words and support. Thank you. Dear Mark, dear, dear minister, uh, dear warriors, dear journalists, here and now we see what is help and what is protection of life. This is the most honorable mission to do everything so that life wins. And I thank you, Prime Minister Mark. Thank you, Madam Minister. Again, great honor. Thanks a lot. And I thank everyone in the Netherlands, to all the people, all society, all of you who helps us the military equipment that goes from here to Ukraine to the battlefield, directly to the battlefield. Your aid packages for Ukraine, your help in treating our soldiers after injuries, the military skills you teach our soldiers at the trainings, as well at the work of your specialists, forensic experts and who really help to investigate Russian war crimes and collect necessary, necessary evidence to bring them 
to the main thing, to justice. All this brings our victory closer, our common victory. Dear friends, remember, we will destroy Russian evil. Yes, to protect our freedom, our common European way of life. Weapons from, from this base which help our defenders, which protect life, normal life, free life, with respect to the lives of Ukrainians and all Europeans and of all free people of the, of the world. Kudos to everyone who helps Slava Ukraine. Thank you so much.